because it will just put you miles apart from everyone else that is auditioning. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pippa Moss, I'm a professional actress and today I'm going to be talking you through how to pick your monologues and your song for your drama school auditions. Let's do this. So most schools will give you a bit of an idea of what to go for. Make sure that you have read the criteria for every single audition that you are going for and double check it like a week before you've got the audition because there's nothing worse than getting to an audition and they go, And what are you singing? And you go, Because you didn't know that you had to sing a song. That really does happen quite a lot. And I don't understand how. So I've got four pointers for you when it comes to picking your monologues and your song. Tip number one, make sure that you pick something that is near your casting and near your age. Obviously in the audition, we want you to show us that you can act, but at the same time, we don't need you if you're 16 or 20 or 25 to play a 90 year old woman who's had all this crazy life experience if that is something that you haven't got. Just pick according to your age and your life experience. Um, life experience is a really commonly used phrase when it comes to drama school auditions and I can talk more about that if that's useful, just let me know. So make sure you're picking something where you are likely to play that part in real life in the profession. Easy peasy. Tip number two, make sure that you are reading. So if you've got monologues from you know your lambda audition when you were 11 in the back pocket or a song that you used to sing like all the time and that's just something you've got pick something else like make sure that you are picking something that you are passionate about i think it's really important to find something that speaks to you that lights you up because it will just put you miles apart from everyone else that is auditioning. And also you will just have a good time. And as a panelist or anyone in an audience ever, it's really nice to watch the person on stage or the people on stage having the best time. Make sure you've done lots of reading and have a few in your back pocket as well. I keep mentioning back pockets. You must have a lot of back pockets. Hopefully you're wearing a pair of dungarees while you watch this. <laughs> have more than one modern monologue to go, have a backup classical, and again, make sure that they are all something you are passionate about. Tip number three, and this one again should be kind of obvious, as I said in tip number one, a lot of drama schools are very specific about what they would like you to audition with. So make sure you have read the criteria inside out, backwards, upside down, in every way possible, so that you are clear, right, RADA audition, I need X, Y, Z. Bristol Old Vic audition, X, Y, Z, and Z1. Like know that you need what you need and when you need it. And this is the biggest thing, one of the biggest things. When it says contrasting monologues, that means they have, have to be contrasting monologues. So really think about it. If you're showing us a regal queen in your classical text, show us the opposite of that. Yes, we know you can act and we know that there are different characterizations of similar emotions, but what we want to see is a shift in your personality and we want to see a shift in your energy, a change in your demeanor, your physicality, your voice. Is it a sad piece that's very solemn and about grieving? And then your other piece, for example, should probably be maybe a bit more lighthearted and a bit more uh, maybe working class or something like that. That's really like simple things, but it's it really helps us as a panel and it, show, it shows you off more. Um, and that being said, with the song, again, make sure that the song is contrasting to those as well. So maybe um, you would sing something really Disney princessy in an American accent. That's a massive contrast. And I think that's really important to remember, which leads me nicely onto tip number four, story. Story is key. We don't want to see you do a monologue that's just one level with no change of emotion, no range, nothing happens. You're just kind of talking on the chair and that's it. And you're just slagging this person off and that's it. And there's no... No story being told. We need to see a story. And I've mentioned about the song being a contrasting character to the other two monologues. You guys, pick a song that has a story, please. If 
If you are picking that song from Game of Thrones that's a folk song that everyone has sung because it was on Game of Thrones, and there's no story, and you're not telling the story, you're just singing, it's not gonna wash. You need to tell a story. I get really passionate about this because for some reason, I think a lot of people get in their head. That the song is to see how well you can sing. It's not, it's to see you through a different medium, tell a different story. That is it. So if you wanna sing a folk song, fine, but for goodness sake, put some story in there. Put a bit of character in there. Don't pick something that has the same verse or chorus a thousand times. And again, read the criteria. Quite often it will say a verse and a chorus is fine. So if you are picking a folk song and the chorus is the same three times around, you better make those completely different. Please just, just do that. Just do that. <laughs> All of this is coming from a place of love. I really want you to do well and every panelist in your audition wants you to do really well. And yeah, best of luck. I hope that all helped. If you want more tips and advice, please just comment below. I try my best to get back to people as quickly as I possibly can. And I will make a video depending on whatever it is that you guys want. So please just let me know if there is anything else I can help with at all. Have a lovely day. So good to see you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and share this with anyone else you know who may be auditioning for drama schools. Bye for now.